What's up my fab labbers? Have you noticed this winter just hasn't been like the others? Do you feel like it's been so warm you could sunbathe during the holidays? What's up, man? Or perhaps it's been raining where you live, which is as normal as a unicorn beatboxing to Ariana Grande. Well, if you think the weather has been funky, you're right. Woo! Here in the US, we are currently experiencing what is called an El Nino. <laughs> So what exactly is El Nino and why is it making the weather feel like every day is opposite it? <laughs> El Nino is a climate cycle of heating and cooling in the waters of the Pacific Ocean. However, it doesn't just affect the ocean, it affects the entire world. When El Nino is in full swing, trade winds weaken in the central and western Pacific while waters warm up off the coast of South America. This results in rain and clouds moving eastward in this region of the world. In fact, there's so much energy released in the atmosphere because of the warm water, the whole planet shifts its normal weather patterns. Most of the time, El Nino hits right around Christmas in the Northern Hemisphere. The shift makes the Northern states in the US warmer and drier, while making the Southern states colder and wetter. As a global event, El Nino also affects other parts of the world. In Indonesia and Northeastern South America, weather conditions are drier, where in Australia and G'day, Southeast mate. Asia, temperatures run higher. El Nino can even spread drought to other parts of the world like Southern Africa, India, and the Pacific Islands. With the weather switched all around, you might ask, what's the root cause of El Nino? Mm. Well, scientists still aren't for sure. Well, uh... but they have found great ways to forecast El Ninos. This is done by measuring the temperature of the upper 656 feet or 200 meters of the ocean. Although changing water conditions can make predictions different from year to year, the general occurrence for El Ninos is about every three to five years. So while El Nino seems to be at blame for flipping our normal weather upside down, there is a silver lining to this change. The extra rainfall has pushed the United States to its lowest level of drought in six years. I'm Nick Yoss with Fab Lab News, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week.